The I'm Team USA Swimmers pulled off a stunning and collectively victorious performance this year at the Rio Games. As uh, we mentioned, uh, the U.S. team took home lots of hardware, 121 total medals, 33 of them uh, provided by the swimmers. Just look at that. A lot of collective wins and smiles and joy, happiness. Maya Dorado, part of it all, back from Rio, here with me now. Congratulations to you. Thank you very much. Um, when you hit the wall and you look up, Dorado won. You see it. Just the moment. What's that like? Shock. Um, happiness. Just, I, I was like, what, what do I do? Yeah. Like, what do I do with this now? And I think the tears kind of started to come, but it was just try to, try to soak in the moment because it was, it was unbelievable. Um, Yours is an interesting story. One of the greats now. You've, you're sitting here, I'm blinded by the medals hanging around your neck to prove it. But you, you sort of got here on an uptick. It mm. wasn't necessarily, you didn't have, you know, you didn't have necessarily a reason to believe that you would have this sort of, this great a game, yeah. for instance. What's it like to not be, for instance, a, a Michael Phelps or a Katie Ledecky from whom we expected what they provided to actually be somebody who kind of slipped on, slipped into the picture yeah. on, on that uptick. It's great. I think it's the perfect way to do it. Mm. You know, you come in and you have the support of everyone and a few expectations, but none really. Um, once I actually got to the Olympics, it was mostly just making the team and then, you know, just to kind of coast in under the radar mm. and have a have a great meet with really no pressure. It, Olympics is so much more relaxed than trials for the U.S. swimmers, and so once we get there, we're just having fun. In, and what, in what way? Well, the pressure of making the team, you yeah. have to be top two, yeah. and that's where everything is focused, and so then once we get to the Olympics, it's just like, huh. great, we'll see what happens, and um, you know, we're just having fun at that point. It's arguable that you exceeded as a team, that you exceeded expectations, mm -hmm. and they were high. Mm -hmm. uh, what was it like to be a part then of a team that even in the Olympic environment felt like it had an uncommon collegiality? It's, it's so special when you get a team like that that just starts to roll. And um, once you kind of get that momentum going, performances just start to happen and things just get better and better as the week goes on. And everybody just feels like we can't miss. And I think we feel that way getting up on the blocks. And I think other countries start to see that. And it's like... You know, we just know we have um, this special wind at our back, and I think that's part of where my performance in the 200 back came from. Uh, Michael Phelps, I, I believe three Olympics running now, perhaps, has effectively retired only to return, <laughs> retired again only to return. Um, let's assume that this is it, mm -hmm. and I don't, mm -hmm. but let's assume that this is it for the moment. I know you have also said this is it. Mm -hmm. Is it really it? This is it for you? I mean, I know you've got a big gig in Atlanta now to go to, and mm -hmm. I know perhaps that this might not have been in your plans. Is this it? This is it, yeah. Because um, I'm playing this back. When you're back here in four years, we're rolling this tape. <laughs> sure, you'll have the footage. That's fine. Um, no, this is, this is the perfect way to end. I'm so overjoyed with my Olympic experience, and it's just made me a lifelong fan, and I plan on going to Tokyo. and. Um, watching and cheering on you Team USA and eating all the delicious food that they <laughs> it have. Will be, it will be remarkable. Mm -hmm. um, in the end then, uh, I want to ask you about your teammates as well, mm -hmm. specifically uh, Michael and, and, and Katie. Mm -hmm. What's it like to see, for a, in, mm -hmm. on one hand, mm -hmm. somebody with 25 men, I don't think he could wear all the medals no. he's earned. Yeah. And Katie Ledecky, perhaps mm -hmm. at the very beginning of something that we could argue might be Phelpsian by yeah. the end of it all. Yeah, it's incredible to be to be able to watch Michael do all his lasts, and you know we'll see if that holds. But I think I think it will. And he was really just enjoying the moment, enjoying himself, um, and it just putting on a show. <laughs> like we know he's the greatest of all time. He's proven it over and over again. Mm -hmm. But we saw it like so many more times this week and then you know the swimming world has known Katie for four years now but um, it was really fun to watch her perform on that stage and see the rest of the world fall in love with her and just be in awe of her performance because we've lost the words to describe how amazing it is what she does but um, it was pretty great to see other people try to wrap their head around it. Well we will be tasked with finding those words four years from now for her in Tokyo <laughs> where you will be watching and eating, and you've earned those meals. Yeah. And uh, you know, I might take a little heat here, but I've decided we don't need to discuss it.
great at all. <laughs> My Dorado. Thanks. Congratulations. Seriously. I cannot imagine what that must be like. And uh, thanks for being here. Thank you very much.